what's up guys welcome back to tamara recipe so today i'll show you how to make this pumpkin pudding so stay tuned and let's get started so in my food processor i have my chopped pumpkin now i am using one and a half pounds of pumpkin if you like it could always grate your pumpkin but me i do it the easy way guys we come for work and you know me just need to just herb and come out of the kitchen so me i go use a food processor but if you like you could always great ears i also have some yellow yam that i cut in some chunks as well now i'm gonna add it to the food processor and then you know the yam would act as a binder along with the cornmeal and the flour so i have some coconut milk now fresh coconut milk is best guys but i can one i have so i may have to use right Let's use some pudding, but I never have a fresh one, so I'm going to use some half. Now, to that, I'm going to add some sugar. Now, I'm using the brown sugar. You're going to add the sugar to your taste. Because, you know, everybody tastes about different, right? So, if you love enough, enough sugar, add it. If you want a little bit of sugar, you add a little bit of sugar, right? Now, I'm going to add some vanilla. Now, I'm going to add maybe about two tablespoons of vanilla. Because, you know, Jamaica with vanilla not as strong as the one overseas. So, I'm just adding the amount that I like. All right. To that, I'm going to add some yellow almond. Now, mine almost finished, guys. But, I'm not going to use all of that either. I'm just going to use like half of it. So, maybe like a teaspoon or so. And then... I'm gonna add some spices now i'm gonna add some fresh grated nutmeg i'm gonna add some mixed spice now i can add any spice of your choice now i am also going to mix it very well because you know once you add the, the powder you have to give it a very good mix because you know the powder will stick on top you could also add some rum if you want to add some ginger powder or some fresh ginger you know you could always add whatever you like to add even some melted butter but i don't really like to add butter to my pudding so i'm not gonna add none now i'm gonna use that like, maybe a little over half of the coconut mixture to the the pumpkin all right so i'm gonna blend and then i return so this is how it looks after i finish blending you don't want it too thick i don't want it extremely runny this check this texture sorry is fine to that i'm going to add some cornmeal you want to ensure that if your cornmeal is lumpy you want to give it a sieve right i'm using the fine grain cornmeal to that i'm adding some all purpose flour i'm also gonna add some salt at this point you could add your spices if you didn't add it to the coconut mixture but for me adding it to the coconut mixture is better all right but that's just me you know your dear thing and i do my thing all right so remember you could always sieve your dry ingredients especially if it's lumpy you have to save all right now you're going to do the cut and fold method because really and truly guys you don't really want your pudding to not be mixed out properly all right now this is the texture you don't want it very thick and you don't want it to run in the more runnier it is the longer it takes to bake all right no, you don't want it to be any runnier than this. Now, I added some oil to my baking dish. Now, this is an 8-inch baking pan. Now, before you add your mixture, you want to give it a stir again. Just ensure that, you know, it's fully mixed out. Alright. Now, we're going to bake at 200 degrees Celsius. Yeah, my oven is not that hot guys so the 200 is fine for me but if yours is very good then you could even use 180 all right so we're gonna bake for about one to one and a half hours so you know want to check it to ensure that it's not burnt and it's not over baked all right so based on the time because everybody oven work different so you want to check it so that it is baked properly after about 1 hour and 10 minutes, I'm going to be adding the coconut milk mixture. Now you could add some more sugar if you like, but it was sweet enough for me, so I'm not going to add any more. So after adding it, I'm going to place it back in the oven for another 20 to 30 minutes. Now this is how it looks after it's all done baking. So I'm not going to remove it from the baking pan, as sometimes when I try to remove it, it gets damaged. So I'm going to try my best to cut it in the tin. 
alright now I'm not using one of them fancy tin there where you can actually um the spring farm pan yes that's the name so mine cannot be done like that so I'm going to try to take it out this way alright so the first slice is not going to be perfect guys because you know you are trying to force it out however uh, make sure say your, your, your pudding is cold alright cool enough where it can cut kind of want if it break up alright so, so remember that pumpkin it has its own moisture so you don't want to over add the coconut milk mixture as you know it will make your pudding become soft all right, so as you can see, the first slice is not nice, but may I'll give it another try. And this one will come out good. Because, you know, the, the first, most times when I bake a cake, the first cut isn't the nicest. All right, so this one will be better as it has more space. So look at that, y'all. It's looking so beautiful. I love the glaze on top. Wow. And especially the crust, guys. Look back part of the pudding. My god, that's my favorite part. Alright, so I trust you enjoy the video. And if you give it a try, don't forget to comment down below. Give me a feedback. Also share the video, you know. Many person never knows a pumpkin can make pudding. So please to share the video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you like the recipe. And if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and join the family. And when you subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification so you never miss another upload thank you so much for watching and stay blessed